Thank you very much once again. Uh, my name is uh, Sam Smyre. Uh, I'm a professor of sociology. Um, I'm a director of Students Industrial Work Experience Scheme at the National Open University of Nigeria. I'm also the industrial liaison officer for the uh, World Bank Assistance uh, African Center of Excellence on Technology Enhanced Learning. Um, I'm very privileged to have uh, come to CELO. The academic is, is, is a very, very important place and it, it, it uh, adds a lot. I've met a lot of friends. I also uh, have learned a lot of things, uh, which I think uh, places uh, all that we are doing at the National Open University of Nigeria in perspective. Um, right, the National Open of University of Nigeria was established uh, um, about uh, 15 years ago. Actually a reactivation because it was in place in 1981 uh, and then it was uh, suspended. So the reactivation actually came in in, in the right time or at the right time. That right time is the fact that uh, conventional educational service provision has undergoing a lot of crisis. Crisis in terms of space, crisis in terms of um, uh, how many students can be admitted uh, in the nation's tertiary institutions, particularly universities, because the university represents um, a, 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 a cradle of, of education, uh, many people perceive it as the highest level. Uh, many families would, would, would not believe that their, their words and their children have learned anything until they have a university certificate. So the significance of the university certificate is, uh, is highly appreciative in Nigeria. So, but here are serious challenges. And, uh, and one of it is the fact that uh, year after year, you find that many people write the, the uh, qualifying exams to enter the university and merely uh, about 30%, you know, usually get enrolled. And of course, the nation's universities as at today stand at 174. And that uh, number is not adequate, uh, considering the fact that this year alone, there was uh, uh, almost 2 million uh, uh, people who wrote uh, qualifying exams and only about 450,000 have been admitted so far. And this made the ODL system, the online distance learning alternative, very, very table. And the fact of, of, the, of this institutional uh, alternative or educational alternative is, is that it affords students the opportunity to to uh, have the flexibility of working and studying at the same time. So the National Open University of Nigeria is a clear departure uh, from the conventional uh, system. That departure is hinged on technology because technology is what is used to deliver learning. We deliver learning through uh, uh, upload of uh, course materials. Uh, we also uh, have what, what is called online facilitation. And we also have uh, structures that are put in place to facilitate this. And one of it is the uh, learning content management system. Uh, that system as a unit uh, produces or develops platforms uh, which enhances online access to learning by students. We also have the recently um, inaugurated, recently inaugurated because uh, sooner or later uh, the formal takeoff will be uh, perhaps at the end of the month, is the African Center of Excellence on Technology Enhanced Learning, for which I'm the industrial liaison officer. Here um, we also are wholly digitalizing learning. Learning in this process at the postgraduate level, where uh, of course there are also short courses, uh, professional courses, uh, and so on, but at the master's level and the, and the PhD level, we, we are we're hoping to mount courses uh, for which the materials, the content has been developed. The development of the content is part of uh, uh, the preparation, the preparedness to uh, facilitate or the effective takeoff. The effective takeoff is tied to um, certain aspect of editorial work 
uh, which, which means that uh, we should be able to fine tune and clean up all the audiovisuals and all the uh, other learning tools uh, which uh, are necessarily attached and accompany course content uh, materials. So these will all go online. Then, of course, we have the, the Directorate of SciWest, which is the Students Industrial Work Experience Scheme. Uh, this system also um, and, and, uh, connects students to industrial organizations where they mandatorily take the six month uh, period of uh, internship. This internship is uh, very critical because it uh, ensures that knowledge uh, is practicalized. Knowledge is transformed into hands-on experiences at the industry level. So we also have developed a system that enables us to undertake supervision, monitoring, and all the uh, associated issues of uh, quality assurance. This is very key uh, as part of the um, uh, overriding structure and system of uh, online de delivery of, of uh, learning and also connecting students who are already in the system to um, uh, enhance their uh, skills, their job skills. So two things here. One is that we have a large number of students, about 500,000 students, most of whom are very active. And uh, this is, of course, non-comparable to any university in West Africa. So not even talk of Nigeria. Then of these students, we also have schemes that ensures or that ensure their um, enhanced skills for job placement. Um, upon graduation or even before graduation, some of these students get uh, placement uh, in the industry or in the, in, in the organization where they undertake their, their internship. At the uh, SETL level, that is the African Center of uh, Excellence on Technology Enhanced Learning, or Learning, we are also um, uh, proposing internships with, uh, with laboratories, with uh, factories, and, and, and so even the development of the software that will enhance this, it's, it's part of that, 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 that uh, scheme. So uh, the National Open University of Nigeria is there for playing a leading role in terms of its uh, structures, in terms of its uh, programs, in terms of its uh, uh, media of uh, uh, delivery, in, in this case, uh, both analog and also uh, technology-based um, systems of uh, reaching out to students. And here we use the OER, we use MOOCs, and uh, we also use the uh, uh, other systems that are developed by uh, our learning content management directorate. Cost transfer system. Uh, since morning, our discussion has been hovering around that. Uh, at the moment, we are not able to transfer credit. Uh -huh. We are not able to even in, um, nationalize that. So not many universities can provide opportunities for students to transfer credits, you know, or even systems that exist in the country to facilitate uh, international uh, credit transfer, you know, uh, by students. I think this is a key message which I have learned from here. This is something I'm taking home. It's going to be part of my report. I'm going to make very strong recommendations on that. Second is the, 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 the very focus of training. I talk about literacy in terms of technology. I talk about literacy in terms of data. I talk about literacy in terms of human literacy development. These three forms of literacy um, are very crucial in delivering online training, online job, job placement, uh, and uh, to, in, in order not to make it sound like um, uh, mere mention of technology and all the laboratories and the whole thing is detached from ordinary people who are largely underserved by the current processes or current arrangement. Um, I think that uh, literacy in, in all the three senses should be able to go down to the level of the people in their various locations, like uh, people in the villages, uh, people in the slums of cities, 
uh, people who are in different uh, geographies that are not uh, directly connected with internet. So there is the need to therefore deepen internet penetration and the literacy that goes with it in terms of access, in terms of use. This is very key, a message which I think I have also picked from here. One key message for me is the fact that uh, partnership is key to everything. Uh, particularly for emerging economies, uh, most times we are confronted with political instability uh, in terms of leadership uh, deficits. Uh, people who, who are leaders today, they initiate programs. When they leave office, tomorrow somebody comes and starts something new. And I, I think it's, it's, it's key to ensure that uh, at, at, at the national level and at the international level, there is these collaborative uh, relationships to facilitate ongoing revolution. I take it as, as a revolution, technological revolution in learning. And I think uh, there is no going back on this because the huge challenges out there are enormous to warrant the alternatives be, uh, be, be, be found to answer the questions of, of people in terms of their uh, desires, aspirations, and dreams to have a qualification and to also get uh, uh, jobs that are actually skill-based.